<laughs> hey everybody, Crabby Susie, welcome. We're gonna do the uh, Rookies and Stars uh, seven box number four right now, uh, eBay style. No, I want to get the. Uh, I definitely want to get the crown filled so that I can get uh, whatever Luca one on one is gonna uh, pop out of it. Probably like two Kobe's. A shack, maybe a couple of, uh, you know, other fancy cards, you know, that kind of deal. Push this back just a little bit. Yeah. Minorly upgraded our computer system uh, recently, so we've been tinkering with that over the past. Uh, Day or two. So far, running s just smooth as but smooth as ice, silk, butter, warm chicken fat, whatever you want to call it. Joe, how you been doing? What have you been up to? Kind of gearing up for a big Wednesday here. All right, Colts and Dolphins. All right, as a uh, Dolphins fan, I will pull you Dolphins. And as someone who doesn't hate the Colts, I will uh, pull you Colts as well. And the list of uh, NFL teams that I do not hate is uh, infinitesimally small. So you've got uh, you got excellent excellent shots right now. Buccaneer fan by birth, but I do uh, I do like the Dolphins. Although I just I just read like some report that. Uh, Bell would like to play in Miami, which makes like absolutely no sense to me at all. But I mean, unless he unless he just wants to live in Miami, because the team is I mean the team is junk like the team straight trash. I mean they've already admitted it's like full rebuild phase. Which is not really a, like a bad thing, but I mean, why would Bell want to do that? Yeah, I mean, I guess, but I mean, dude, like, do you care that little about like football that you're gonna go somewhere that has zero chance of winning anytime soon? Already, I mean, is I mean, like one of the few spots that isn't like terrible is running back for the Dolphins. I mean, I mean, granted, he is an upgrade to like everything. I mean, you know, definitely an upgrade. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess, but I, ugh, I don't, you know, I, just, I don't know, I don't know what, I, I don't know what I do. Because, like, you don't necessarily want the hassle with, like, a, a young team, which is essentially what you're going to be putting together, like, trying to unload what vets you can for, for draft picks. Keep, like, your, you know, your younger core of guys. I mean, there's not that many in Miami to keep, but... I mean, if you're... I don't... Le'Veon! Le'Veon Bell said he said he wanted to play in Miami. Hang on. Let me 
tweak this up a little bit. There we go. That's good. Yeah, I don't. Ugh. You know, I, again, I don't know. So talented, but I mean, you know, is. These are all twisted around. Got the uh, Anthony Miller swatch for the Bears. Yeah, I mean, you know, Drake, 100%. I mean, Gore is getting older, but, I mean, Gore wasn't bad for as old as, old as he was. Balage, I mean, you know, maybe getting, I, you know. Again, Dolphins, like, relatively okay at, uh, at running back. A Stefan Diggs to uh, 65, but I mean, again, Bell is an upgrade to all of those folks. But I would think getting, uh, you know, getting pounded week in, week out, like, would get, uh, would get old. And uh, Ito Smith autograph to uh, 75 for the Falcons. Got to uh, Dorian O'Daniel to 49 for the Chiefs. Since it is on top, we'll take the uh, Aaron Donald to 49 for the Rams. I don't know. Will, you know, I don't know. God knows what he's going to do. God knows. A Jared Goff swatch for the Rams. Got to say, uh, Aaron Donald to 99 for the Rams. Uh, a uh, Terrell Edmonds to 25 for the Steelers. I don't know. I I love the off season so much because I can I can still like have so much hope for my Bucks. <clears throat> and then like one you know like it, you know it's the best team the Bucks have ever have ever put on the field in 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 preseason. And then regular season comes around and like you know reality hits and uh, Bortles is twenty five. Then it just is what it is. Uh, Bradley Chubb, uh, Broncos. <clears throat> Swatch. Oh, the Jets. Got to say, uh, Brian Dawkins to uh, 85. I don't know. For Chris Fitz, I would be, I would, I would be okay with him with the Jets, but pfft, I mean, I don't know. A Goodert to 10. For the uh, Eagles, I don't know. I mean, he's not going to the Bucks, so I don't really care. I'll just wait for the uh, wait for the uh, pop up thing. Um, I mean, Wyatt. The the only other eBay break we've got to do after this is high tech baseball. Then, as far as schedule goes, it's just what I can get filled and what order I can get it filled. Uh, and Alex Smith, forty nine. Um, I mean, you can check RipCityCards.com to see what's uh, getting close. I mean, I definitely would like uh, Crown Royal to go tonight. That's our last case of that. I'd like to see that. Uh, just added a case of uh, 15 Bowman's Best. I'm giving a box away to uh, somebody that goes hitless in that. Got some Vanguard. I mean, I got a couple other little things I could throw in there. Since it is on top, I will take it out. A Sony Michelle to 75 autograph. Ronald Jones the third, the second. Uh, it's 99 for the Buccaneers autograph. 
Uh, it's 49. Hey, uh, guys. DJ Moore Panthers Swatchery. A uh, Jameis Winston to 65 for the Buccaneers. All hail Bruce Arians, by the way. Uh, I hope that he that uh, he does not have a heart attack and die before he uh, gets the Buccaneers another Super Bowl. That would be highly unfortunate if he did. Oh, Dear Value Collector, congratulations on your, I'm going to guess, Kiki. On your Baker Mayfield instead, Rookies, Longevity, Signatures, Gold! Nice one for the Browns. Nice card. I go get some Kiki and I get a uh, Baker. Nice. Let's say Kyle Laletta to 25. Uh, Action. I'm not 100% sure on the. Uh, I mean, gold is like traditionally 10, but I don't know what it is in uh, Rookies and Stars. Hey, uh, Bradley Chubb to uh, 99. Got a uh, Dak to uh, 49. Let's look. Indeed, nice car. Karrion Johnson, Swatch Reef of the Lions. DeAndre Hopkins to 85, Texans. Got the Terrell Suggs to 25, for the Ravens. Do we have any uh, early Super Bowl predictions? Any early ideas of uh, what what score is going to be? Another Michelle. This one is seventy five for the Patriots. I so badly want the Rams to win. So if you have, if you, if you were planning on putting any money down, put it on the Patriots, all of it. Anthony Miller swatch for the Bears. God, I would. Ugh. I mean, Gurley not on the injury report, which is a good thing. Rams do have some run defense, which is, will be highly important. Uh, Rosen to uh, 65. But just, I mean, Tom Brady, man. Tom Brady. Like, I don't, it just. Uh, Deshaun Hamilton, 49. I feel like you put him on a, uh, on, on like a, on like a peewee league team against, you know, like a high school team and, and he would still just, you know, do what he does. Doubling up on Ronald Jones. I mean, ideally, it's like 49 nothing Rams. Garoppolo to 25? Ideally. I don't even want, I don't even want to see a close game. Oh, uh, Wyatt, you've got uh, 20 minutes, maybe. I mean, literally, just got to finish this up, clean it up, and uh, and then we'll be right to the right to the tech. Uh, Michael Thomas to 25? I don't know. I hate to say, I, eh, you know, I don't. I don't know if they. Well, Gronk to ninety nine. Great American Treasures Swatchery. I think the Saints probably would have been a better matchup 
Russell Wilson uh, to 99, Crusade. But I don't like the Saints as a Buccaneers fan. So, uh, Alshon Jeffries is 49. The who and why and how of, of who I want to win games is so complicated. Is that just me? Or does everybody have, like, levels of, like, well, I dislike this guy, but I like this guy. I mean, all, like, not literally, but, like, averaging out, like, to, like, a mental number of, like, you know, I can live with this team winning because, because of my love-hate relationship all the way around. Uh, I got a golf to 49. Got a uh, Geis swatch autograph, forty nine for the Redskins. I just, I just, I want the Patriots to lose so bad, but it's Tom Brady. All right, Jamon Moore to five. Right, Jamon Moore to five. I mean, the man hasn't been sacked in the playoffs, has he? Which in itself is outrageous. Dual teams, Rosen and David Johnson to uh, 99 for the Cardinals. MCB, that, this, is, this is what I'm saying. MCB, how long has it been, man? What have you been up to? I've not I've not seen you in like in like uh, what has been three and a half years. To ninety nine, I mean we we were uh, last time I saw you we were at that opium bar in uh, Seattle. That was the last time I saw you. Marvin Jones Jr. to ninety nine for the Lions. That's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, even when like he was, even when the when, when they were down so far against the Falcons, like I didn't really care. Like, I didn't uh, have. I didn't really care about that game one way or the other. Who won? Like, it had no it had no pressing interest. But even even when they were down, I was like, Nah, it's not. It's not over. Like, it's Tom Brady's gonna come back. Uh, Mayfield and Chubb. Well, dude, I mean, I, I mean, part if you even look at Brady sideways, it's a flag. So, I mean, I, there might be that uh, that situation as well. Odell to uh, eighty-five. You know, I I once said uh, said something on stream that was uh, I basically said. <sighs> You know, give Tom Brady like a you know a dirty pocket, and he's not going to be as effective. You know, what I mean, was I mean, I can't remember exact word for word what it was, but I mean that's basically what it was. Two days later, I get a priority package from the NFL head office with a yellow flag in it, and I, I got I got flagged uh, for for saying that. Go oh, another deal value collector. This time, Carrion Johnson dressed for success for the Lions. Well, how hurt is he, MCB? Because I mean, they technically did not put him on the uh, Tannehill to forty nine on the injury report. I don't know. To me, I almost feel like if Gurley is not like 100% healthy, then they should make like Edelman play with like a, you know, I don't know, like, like a 60 pound weight on one of his ankles. A Gronk to 49 three color. Nice card. Even out like some of the injuries. You know, kind of a deal. Brian Dawkins to eighty five. No, there's no nobody stands out on the Patriots except for Tom Brady. 
uh, to 49, Fournette. I mean, everybody else, like, it just looks like a whatever kind of player. And somehow, dude doesn't get sacked. Defense uh, bends but wins. Like, you know, it, it's, I, it's, I don't know. Uh, Gallup 49. I don't know. The party that I end up having when Belichick and Brady retire, oh my goodness. I can guarantee at least three people are going to end up in the hospital after that. Royce Freeman to 25. It's just staggering. What if uh, what if Brady just takes over as coach when Belichick leaves? What if what if they did that? They both both retire, but but Brady just takes over as coach. A Carson wins to forty nine three color forty nine out of forty nine eBay one one. A Keekly 265. <laughs> it would be that would be a hard one to take, wouldn't it? Uh, Rashad Penny to 10. Joe. So MCB, what have you been up to? I seriously have not uh, not seen you in forever. MCB, I like. I kind of like how that. I kind of like that go. How that goes. So they make. Uh, since this was on breakers, Joe, MCB is saying like Tom Brady and, and Bill Belichick both uh, make a pact to leave together. Probably not this year. Like probably like three years from now. Then out of nowhere, after Belichick signs his uh, papers. Brady just continues to play quarterback and coach at the same time. I would also say probably calling both offensive and defensive plays. Got a Marvin Jones Jr. to uh, 99. In between series, he goes up to the booth. Then comes then they, the NFL institutes a rule that allows Brady to go up to the booth for uh, defensive possessions, then pauses the game when there's a change of possession for him to come back down from the booth, warm up, and then continue to uh, play. It's kind of like kind of where I think that would that would go. Drew Brees to ninety nine. Get anything good out of Bowman, MCB? Bowman was was exceptional to us, but I didn't see you anywhere near our Bowman. Did we do? Did I do something to you, like to piss you off? To ninety nine, Devonta Adams. If I did, I would like to know just just for what it was, because it wasn't intentional. A James Washington two color Apache autograph to twenty five for the uh, Steelers football organization. Got to another Garoppolo to twenty five this time. More tomb deals for Allen and uh, Zay Jones. And we'll have a green Darnold to five. Dose out of five for Darnold. So, to recap, we have got... A uh, James Washington to 25 for the Steelers. Two-color, patched, and autographed. 
a Marvin Jones Jr. to 99. He had 1,101 receiving yards in 2017. I just remember that, like, off the top of my... Oh, wait, it says right... I knew that, and then I saw it there. A uh, Royce Freeman to 25 for the Broncos. A uh, Karrion Johnson dressed for success for the Lions. More Lions in the form of Marvin Jones Jr., who, if I remember correctly, had uh, 1,000... What was it? 102? No, 1,101 receive. Oh, <laughs> that's right there. Receiving yards in 2017. A uh, Geist to 49. Patch autograph, Redskins. Ronald Jones the second to 99 for the Bucks. A Michelle to 75 for the Patriots. Mayfield Gold for the Browns. Nice card. Ronald Jones to 99 Bucks. Michelle to 75 Patriots. That is not deja vu. Uh, Aaron Donald to 49. 11 sacks in 2017. Hopefully that will increase to 11 sacks in the uh, 2019 Super Bowl. And uh, Ito Smith, 75. And then uh, we also have the Godert to uh, 10. So, thank you, everybody. I'll give this out of two.